Hello people, it's Greg McDonald from Beacon Consulting. Uh, today I'm going to do, show you guys how to export uh, the files we need to take off quantities in our 3D estimating software. Uh, I'm going to show you how to export them from Revit. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll bring up a Revit model that we've got. So first thing we want to do is make a copy of the default 3D view. Now we do this copy because we're going to actually uh, explode the model um, to provide us with the part information we need to take advantage of uh, structure build-ups of floors, walls, ceilings, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the default 3D view and I'm going to make a copy, duplicate the default 3D view and I'm going to rename the copied view and call it Beacon Parts View. Click OK. So when I explode the parts, it seems to only explode these parts uh, in a view specific um, arrangement so that your other views aren't affected and it doesn't affect your, your other model views. Um, so you can add new walls, modify new walls. So in this Beacon Parts view that we've created. I'm going to go up to the task, uh, the, the ribbon, and I'm going to click on Modify and Create Parts. So I use the Create Parts tool, and I'm going to just drag a box over the entire model, and then I'm going to press Enter. And you can see it's just waiting. And if I go down here, it regenerates um, the BIM families and explodes the parts out. This might take a few minutes, depending on your model size. And it's brought up some warnings here, saying that some of the geometry may have changed slightly. Don't worry too much about this, just click OK. Now, a couple of other things we're going to do. We're going to just change some of the view settings. So, on the default uh, view level, we're going to change that to find. Okay. And in the shaded, in the view options, we're going to make sure it's on shaded. Okay, now we're ready to export. So, in terms of exporting, we go to the Rev file menu and go to export. And click on the DWF 3D DWF. And we set rooms and arrows. And all I'm going to export is the default 3D view. And I click next. And it's going to ask me where I want to save. So, so in this instance, I'm going to save this on my desktop, and I'll just name it 23.4 Beacon. Now, in terms of the file options you've got, you've got DWF and 3D DWFX. Um, either option's fine for us. Um, we ask people to send it through the DWFX file, and I'm going to click OK, and you can see down at the bottom here, it's going to take just a couple of seconds to export that file. And that's it. So you can now just attach that file to an email, email through to Beacon Consulting, and we're going to be very happy people. Thank you.